Who wants to live forever? This isn't just the name of a great song written by a great band for an awesome movie, but this is a very popular topic right now with popular biohackers like Brian Johnson or even David Beckham launching a longevity brand. One ingredient that we introduced to the supplement community years ago has really taken off in not just increasing lifespan being how long you live, but also health span which means the period of your life that you spend in good health. And that's an interesting differentiation that ergothionine has been able to be studied on both sides of. With NNB's introduction of Mitoprime being a 99% ergothionine, we've been able to talk about the ingredient more having a branded one on the market. This is a fermented source ingredient here. And there's been three major studies in the last few years to really support these topics. In 2022, Dr. Bindu Paul from Johns Hopkins published a review that crystallized the discussion of ergothionine as a stress vitamin, meaning that while it's not essential for normal life, it becomes crucial during times of physiological stress. The review put a lot of information in on neurological protection, but also pointed towards cardiovascular benefits. It has a dedicated transporter for selective uptake. Its deficiency correlates with poor health outcomes. Its presence shows clear physiological benefits. It's concentrated in tissues predisposed to oxidative stress and the body retains it with high avidity. But a study in 2023 published by Zhao Ying Tian with his colleagues at the University of Leeds took a deeper look into ergothionine from nutritional science perspective. And they said that it's an under-recognized micronutrient, really looking at mushrooms as the premier source. Oyster mushrooms, porcini mushrooms, and shiitake mushrooms. But you also could get it from fermented foods. They really made the case that this needed to be considered conditionally essential. Last, in 2024, there was a study on the anti-aging me mechanisms, which is really the final stage of all all of this not just longevity not just health span but anti-aging i'm not going to bore you or confuse you with the pronunciations of many of the things in this topic but protecting dna integrity was a big topic of the review they even explored ergothionine's effects on epigenetic mutation which is a hallmark of aging look i know that this is a lot of scientific information but antioxidants are a huge category for overall health and frankly if you're not in great overall health you're not going to be working out mitoprime from nnb is a trusted version that you know is going to test out but this data is about ergothionine in general which we definitely considered to be a conditionally essential stress vitamin.